Welcome to Malachi's Reading Corner. I'm Malachi. Today I'll, be, today I'll be reading David and Goliath. In the valley of Elah, two great armies faced each other, the of the Philistines and the of the Israelites, led by King Saul. For many years and through many battles, each side stood neither able to claim a great victory that would end the conflict. The Philistines were idol worshippers and bowed to many gods, but the Israelites prayed only to their God, or their Lord, whom they knew was the one true God. The Israelites wanted the Philistines out of their land so that they could worship God in their own way. One, great, or one day, there was a great stirring in the Philistine camp. The Israelites watched in, a, in amazement. A giant warrior, ten feet tall, clad in bronze armor and carrying an enormous spear, broke from the Philistines' ranks and strode towards the Israelites. I'm Goliath, he thundered across the valley. Let one of you come and fight me, if he dares. Then this war will be decided by single combat. For two champions to fight instead of thousands of men would save many lives. The Israelites knew, but where, but where would they find anyone who could stand up to this giant? In the, Is in the Israelite army, there were three brothers. Their aged father, Jesse, sent their youngest brother, David, to bring them food. Young David was in camp one morning when Goliath issued his challenge. Who is this Philistine who dares defy the army of God? The boy David asked. I will fight him. But the, but the grown men of the camp, even David's brothers, scoffed at him. But David persisted until his words reached King Saul himself. You're only a boy, said the king. We cannot let we cannot let a boy go against a giant. But David insisted, When I watch over my father's sheep, I rescue the lambs from any wild beast that carries them off. I know that God will give me the strength to defeat the Philistine too. At last the king gave in. He offered David his own armor and weapons to use against Goliath. But the boy found the king's armor too large and heavy. I will fight with my own weapons in my own way, he declared. He took his slingshot and a stick, and he took a slingshot, a stick, and his shepherd's bag. As David approached the valley, he stopped at a dried out riverbed. Stooping down, he picked up five smooth stones and put them in his bag. Then he went forth to face Goliath. The giant shook with laughter when he saw David. Is Israel sh so short of men? They send, a, they send a boy to fight me? Goliath mocked. He walked toward David, still mocking and insulting him as he prepared to kill the boy. David reached into his bag. He drew out one of his stones as Goliath got closer. David raised his slingshot. The stone hit Goliath in the forehead, and the giant tumbled forward on the ground. David bent down quickly with, and with Goliath's sword, his own sword, cut off the giant's head and brought it to King Saul. The people loved David, and Saul grew jealous of David's popularity. David loved Saul, even though they eventually fought and became enemies. But David was God's, God's chosen and became king of Israel. David was one of the greatest kings ever to rule anywhere in the world. He was not only a war warrior, but a poet who wrote many of the beautiful psalms in the Bible. David was also a mighty builder. He made Jerusalem his capital city and brought it much splendor. 
people called Jerusalem the city of peace, the city of David. Well, I hope you like the video and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.